Hi, my name is Amanda, and today I'm going to show you how to use rubber bands to form a circle pattern on a tie-dyed shirt. For this one, you're going to need a lot of rubber bands. Begin by picking any spot and pinching. Then take a rubber band and tighten it very tightly around where you pinched. going to continue by picking wherever you want your circles to be on your pattern and depending on how large you want your circles to be, grab more or less fabric. The more fabric you grab, the larger the circle will be. For this circle, I'm also going to place one more behind it to make two little circles. By doing this, I'm going to form two little concentric circles over here in the corner. Remember, it's very important and most important for this type of pattern to tighten the rubber bands as tight as you can get them to go so that your pattern turns out in the end. The goal is to keep the dye out of where the rubber band is placed, so if it's not tight enough, dye will go in there and you won't have any pattern at all. Continue doing this for as many circles as you want in your pattern. Alright, at this point you're ready to begin dyeing your shirt. For this shirt, um, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the dye now that we're ready. Uh, generally because it's, there's so much fabric left open, you want to have your own uh, an open dye open for this, but because we're doing so many at once, I'm just going to kind of squish it in here, let it soak up the dye, and leave that in there for 10 minutes. Okay, now that it's been 10 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take this out, let it drain a little bit, squeeze a little bit, and then go ahead and place it on the pan to dry, or to cool, I should say. After you rinse it very well, you want to let it dry, iron it on a very high heat, and then you have your final tie-dye product.